I'm fading Chase here in this one just because the matchup. Um, you know, Minnesota D, they were terrible last year. Uh, but I do think they're going to be one of the better units this season. Um, you know, Zemmer is a defensive guru. Uh, they filled the covers on that side of the ball. I mean, Dalvin Tomlinson and Michael Pierce back on the defensive line. They acquired Patrick Peterson, one of the best cornerbacks. Um, he could, you know, shadow chase. You, don't, you know, you don't know. Uh, they also got A.J. Woods in the secondary. Uh, that's added to all the other talented pieces they already had on that side of the ball. And, you know, Zimmer, he's already intimated in the preseason that uh, he's already made some tweaks and adjustments to the scheme. Um, you know, the Bengals, I mean, they're rolling into sit them, you know, season, the wheels are spinning, the flashing lights, they got the body kit, you know, the the, the sound, the woofers are bumping, uh, everybody's enamored with them. But, you know, open the hood, like, what's what's there? You know, that offensive line is going to be a real problem. I think Zimmer and company, you know, they're going to cause some serious problems, uh, serious trouble to that sense of the offense. So, yeah, give me the fade here. Jeff, what do you think? Would you take a chance or are you going to wait and see I mean, I definitely do not think that you should be fading the rookie group as a whole. I do think that you need to look at each scenario on its own. And, and I'm not that scared of the Minnesota you know, defense, at least maybe not as scared as, as Stan. I'm not really a believer that Patrick Peterson is just going to turn it back on. But you have T. Higgins there as well. I think Devonta Smith, for me, assuming he's healthy, he's banged up right now, would be the most interesting play in that 4K range. Again, the Eagles don't really have a depth chart at wide receiver, and, and the, the other guys are banged up. I think it's a really good matchup against uh, Atlanta in a game that could be higher scoring. But, you know, you have guys who are really cheap. Like Jalen Jalen Waddle. I mean, he, yeah, he's got some depth chart things. You know, he's going to be playing behind Devontae Parker. I'm not a big guy, a, a proponent of Tua, but he's only 3,600, Jesse. I mean, this just does not cost you very much to take a shot on an explosive player. You've got Amon Ra St. Brown at the bare minimum, 3,000 going for Detroit. I mean, this team could be down 40 points by halftime, and there's no depth chart there. You know, Tyrell Williams probably going to be injured by halftime there. So <laughs> don't be out on the rookies at all. you got to give these guys a shot. They're too cheap for week one. Reed, your face was just like... Yeah, 40 catches. Out. That is that is stamp approval, slate approved. Um, yeah, like I'm not going to fade these rookie receivers. What we've seen, Jesse, is that these guys, these rookies, you know, they're 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 already pro ready, right? Pro ready to an extent. And Justin Jefferson really, you know, bucked, bucked that trend last year. He was fantastic. Uh, I'm actually going to be chasing Chase. Oh, I didn't even realize I did that. Uh -huh. um, and, and I get and I get what Stan is saying. And if the sediment, because he's going to be popular, right? I think what we're seeing with Joe Burrow from the Minnesota secondary, that in the first half of the season, they were a bottom 10 defense in terms of points allowed and secondary. And then obviously injuries and scheduling really ruined, right? You know, that that the continuity of that defense. But at the same time, like Jamar Chase, he gets he gets his quarterback back. He gets, you know, he had what a 20% target share in 2019 college, led all of college football in yards per catch. And so a lot of stuff is going his way. But I do think he's going to be popular. I love the Jalen Waddle call. You know, he's a guy that can break open a defense very, very quickly. Devonta Smith, obviously a little bit banged up, but Chase is by far and away the best in his class. And, you know, I'm going to be uh chasing it. Man, that's a bad pun. <laughs> 